A continuous random vector x with entries x1 through xn has a joint PDF, which we denote by px, where, where x is a vector, or px1 up to xn, where each of these are the scalar uh, entries here. We evaluate typically px of some dummy variable uh, little x, or px1 to, through pxn at the values of the dummy variables little x1 through little xn. As in the scalar case, we have a relation to the probability. So we want to talk about the probability of the random vector ending up in some set ax. So if we go back to our uh, pictogram of the sample space and the range, and here we have the sample space, We have some outcome here, A, and we have the corresponding value over here. And we have the random vector that sends this outcome here over to X of A. We are now interested in understanding if we have some set AX over here in the range space. So this could be, for instance, a square here, AX. We're interested in understanding what is the probability corresponding to x landing up here. So that means what is the corresponding, the probability of the corresponding event A over here in the sample space. So this here we define as the probability of the event A. And here we have defined, as before, we have defined A as the set of all outcomes such that X actually ends up in this space here, or in this set here AX. Now we can define this in terms of the probability density function. So we can define this as this integral here where we, def where we integrate over the, the set AX of this probability density function, the joint probability density function. If you wish, you can also write this up as a uh, multiple integral here. So still the same set of this other function here, X1 up to Xn and then the dummy variables x1 up to xn, dx1 up to dxn. And those two things mean exactly the same. So what we have here is essentially just a shorthand for this uh, very cumbersome to write uh, notation with all the, uh, all the single integrals here. It's clear from the probability it's clear from our definition of a probability space that the probability of x ending up anywhere in the range is the same as the probability of, of, uh, of any sample, of any outcome occurring in the sample space is equal to 1. And this in turn means that if we put in sx here, we get 1. So the integral of the PDF throughout the whole space, so we will just skip mentioning uh, the SX, but we could write SX here to mean the whole range, but this integral here is always 1. So this is the same as in the scalar case where PDF always integrates to 1. This is the one thing we know about the PDFs. The other thing is that PX of X is always greater than or equal to zero. One example of a joint PDF is the one from an invariate Gaussian or normal distribution. So this PDF, uh, here we have a vector x, which is an invariate Gaussian. It has two parameters. One is the mean and another one is the covariance. 
we will come we will come back to how to define these but the pdf in the end will have this uh, expression here it consists of two tr uh, two factors one factor which is a normalization factor that essentially takes care of um, that this integrates to one and then there's a kernel here an exponential kernel and if you look closely you can see that this is a quadratic form uh, we have the deviation from the mean mu of x the same here it should be vectors and then we have this covariant matrix here so to define such an invariant gaussian we will need the two parameters so we include this in our shorthand notation so we write x tilde n of mu and c where mu is the mean and c is called a covariant matrix of the vector x